People always ask, how does the rear steer work and the steering in the monster truck? Well, I just so happen to have one over here. It's monster jams only. Say with a monster truck, come on up and I'll show you how it's done. Well, the steering in a monster truck works just like a regular pickup truck a car. You have your steering in the, for the front tires, you turn the wheel to the right, truck goes to the right, to the left, goes to the left. It's done hydraulically. Um, when the truck rolls over, there's a, a bypass uh, in here where the truck's rolling over and if your tires catch and spin the other way, it won't spin the wheel because it'll snap your fingers, you know. If you have them locked in here, you never lock your fingers in the wheel, but, you know, when it spins back, you know, you won't catch your fingers. Well, so the front steering works just like regular pickup. The rear steer works over here. A lot of guys have it here, Dennis. Brent's is up here, Adam, Ryan. Tom Metz is on the left side, but Pat has it on his little shifter here. If he's going into a right-hand turn, he'll hit the steering to the right, and the, the back tires will turn, and he'll be able to make a right-hand turn. To the left, hits it, left to right. And then when he lets go of it, it'll self-center. If it doesn't self-center, he hits the switch on the side and does it manually. And I'll, I'll show you how it's worked from the outside of the truck. But this steering is for the front, and this right here is the rear steering. It's a little toggle switch. Okay. Well, the rear steer pump is in the front, and it's right here. So when you when you turn the little toggle switch, it senses which way it's turning, little, and it'll turn uh, whichever way you want it to turn. Hydraulic lines run all the way down to the back. Run all the way down. Run all the way down here to the pistons. Turn to the left, this will suck in, this will push out. Go to the right, opposite. The self-centering is um, right here. Uh, this way, you can see. When, you, when you turn the wheel to the left or right, there's little sensors in here. When you let go of it, the rod will come back and sense where, it, where you want it to stop. If you go to the left, It'll go this way, the ball will pop over here, you let go, it'll come back automatically and it will stop to the right. A lot of times these wires will break off, you know, so you always want to check them, make sure they're nice and tight. So, a lot of, or dirt gets in here and got to take all this apart, cleaning up, put it back together. But this works the, um, the rear steer, self-centering, like I said, the front. Works just like running her car. That power steering is in the back. It works the front. So it's kind of like opposite. Turn the wheel, hydraulic, pushes down the lines. The, fu the, fu the fluid comes right to the front. Hey, if I was a dog, would that be me? <laughs> um, same thing over here. Goes to the left, goes to the right. So that's how the steering on a monster truck operates. I'll go switch for the rear steer, regular steer for the uh, for the front. Uh, I'm Joseph right now, and I'm here with Macho Canadio TV. Now, this is the Keebler of one of Thrasher's crewmen. So, so Keebler, what keeps you guys in the truck, like in the seats? Because when I'm with my mom, I'm bouncing back and forth, and the seatbelt won't keep me in. What keeps you nice and tight in the seats? Well, here, come on up, and I'll show you. Hey, a lot of people ask how we stay strapped in in the truck when the truck's racing around, or we roll over to drive stay nice and safe. And a lot has to do with the seat they have. 
This is an older seat. These are the seat belts. It's a five point harness, as they call it, because it attaches in five places. You have a lap belt that comes in from the right. This one comes over your right shoulder and it pops right in here. Okay, this one comes over your left shoulder, pops in right here. One comes from your left side, pops in there, and this comes in from your from your uh, groin area and it clips right there. Okay? Now it's all loose, so what you want to do is you pull these straps down. Right here there's two little straps. And you want to pull it nice and tight. But before you do that, there's a ratchet over here. And what you want to do is you ratchet it. Because you really can never pull them tight enough, no matter how tight you get. And a lot of guys who get out of truck and they can't even talk to do an interview, and this is why. They can't catch your breath. Because they're so tight in here. You can't even breathe. And you pull down on the harness. And when you go out to race, they go bumping around. They get out to their lane. They do their little burnout. They back up. They put it in neutral. And the official will cut the truck off. They put the hands out to the side. The truck will shut off. This is your RII. It's a remote ignition interrupter. They'll shut the truck off. They'll tell the guy to fire it up. They reset it. They start the truck back up. And you'll see a lot of guys moving around. And they uh, will check themselves again. They pull, pull. They'll hit the ratchet a couple more times. Okay. Then go racing. And you can't even move. You can't move at all. I mean, this is not even tight enough, but I, I want to be able to get out. You know, so if you're going racing around, should they flip over? Got the roll cage, got pad here in case your head comes in contact with the padding. And I don't know how, but a lot of guys do bump their head on, on the roll cage. Um, I can't even move, but when you roll over, your body just goes flying around. On, on the pedal, you can't reach it. Anyway, there's a little a lip here where your foot will stay locked on your pedal. As far as your brake pedal, your, your feet will actually come flying up in the air. So uh, a lot of guys have a little block here to rest your foot on. Um, should they roll over, if they're not hurt or the truck's not on fire, they'll sit in the seat, they'll shut the truck off, they'll shut the fuel off, they'll put it in park. If there's a fire, they'll pull the pin and pop this. Fire extinguisher will go off. If everything's all right, they'll just sit there and wait for the crew guy to come in. Once the crew guy comes in the window, the top of the roof, the windshield, they'll hold them up. They'll hold the guy up. And once you're upside down, they're, hold, they're holding on. And when the crew guy comes in, the crew guy will just reach in, grab the lap belt, twist it, and it'll pop open. And then he'll climb down on the roof because he's upside down or on the side, climb out the window. If you can, a lot of times you roll over and the body's covering the window or, well, well, Pat, he goes out through the bottom, easy access, Brave Digger has a door, uh, a lot of times if the door is jammed, they'll pull back the windshield, they come out through the windshield, so uh, that's, how you, that's how you stay nice and tight in these trucks with this little lap belt right here.